Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. Time is fluid, as you know. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. And um, if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Overall energy. Aries, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. So what this says is that um, I feel you're waiting for something, okay? It's almost like um, you've invested all your energy, you've invested all your emotions. This could be a very long-term relationship or long-term commitment that you're looking at, okay? But the issue here is that someone's been very bitter. I think you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for the fruits of your labor. You're waiting for this relationship to come into fruition. And now, because you're waiting so much, right? I think with the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're tending, you're, you're, you're you're getting very very bitter now you know you're like almost sick and tired and fed up of waiting you could be dealing with someone who's very cold very detached but someone very snappy or this is just the energy that you're bringing up because you're waiting so much okay probably you're waiting for a response from someone you're waiting for communication from someone whatever all right but someone could be cold towards you or this is just your issue where you're just waiting too long okay patiently for something to happen and it's just not happening but this is the mutual energy, okay? You both are probably waiting, like I said, right? This is not, this is the mutual energy. So you both are waiting, but there's a lack of communication between you both, okay? All right, your feelings, their feelings, blockages, your action, their action, and the outcome. All right, I'm liking this, okay? So, your feelings towards this person is the Three of Cups, okay? So, I'm feeling that you want reconciliation if you guys are at a break, okay? Or you guys definitely want something to celebrate about, okay? The Three of Cups is a celebratory card. And uh, you could be wanting a reconciliation, a reunion, or you just want to chill with this person, okay? You just want to get together with this person. You want to be on the same page with this person. The person that you're dealing with, their feelings is the Ace of Wands, okay? So, guys, I'm just going to say this as Aries, and that is um, the person you're dealing with. Feel free to search the energies, okay? It can be a mix of energies. It can be anything. They want a brand new beginning with you, okay? So, with the Ace of Wands, this is a brand new, passionate beginning in love, okay? Maybe something really, like something very um, bitter happened between you guys, okay? Again, I'm feeling more of communication, and now you both are waiting on communication from each other but you're both detached okay but in your mind you both want the same thing you want a reunion reconciliation and they want a brand new beginning with you all right the blockage out here is the nine of swords so i feel that there's a lot of over analyzing and overthinking maybe i'm feeling maybe the situation isn't really as bad as you think it is but maybe one of you is over analyzing the entire situation okay both of y'all this is a lot of overthinking. This is someone, you know, who is just creating a lot of um, negative outcomes to a situation. You know, making uh, mountains out of a molehill is what I'd say in short, okay? This is a lot of overthinking, again. You could be constantly on this person's mind. They could be on your mind constantly. But the biggest blockage is overthinking is what I'm getting, okay? You're making it too big a scene, whereas there is nothing like that. Maybe it's just the communication, the lack of communication, okay? And you're both waiting on it. All right, let's clarify. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, so with the Chariot here, you want to move forward with this person, okay? You're wanting to move forward. You want forward moment. You know this is the right track, okay? And you're really looking forward to traveling towards this person. This person could be at a distance from you or... Um, there is some physical distance between you guys, like I said, right? But uh, you're going for this. You're like in full-on mode to go on for this. Clap for the Ace of Wands. Yeah. This person wants a brand new beginning with you, but somewhere, somehow, I feel that this person is... <laughs> Sorry, I finished. So I feel that this person definitely wants a brand new beginning with you, but there is an element of feeling hopeless and losing faith in a connection, okay? They're losing trust and faith in this connection. And you're very, very determined to move forward towards this person. You want this anyhow. The chariot is someone very focused, very determined, okay? And that's why you both are waiting. Like I said, you both want this, but no one's communicating. Or then there's just a lot of bitterness between you guys, okay? Maybe there's just a lack of clar lack of communication. Why is this card in reverse? Why is this person losing faith? Why is this card in reverse? 
Yeah, okay. So with the six of pentacles here, okay, so and the page of swords here, okay. So what I feel is this person is trying to get more information, okay, they're very inquisitive about what you're doing, what goes in your life, etc. But at the same time, this person is also stalking and spying, okay. They're watching you from a distance, they want to talk to you, okay. But again, it's that faith. And with the six of pentacles, they want an equal give and take, okay. They want reciprocity in this relationship this time. So I feel that one of you or this person could have realized that, you know what, in the past, earlier, there was a lack of equal give and take and uh, this time they want to put in the effort okay but with the but with the star in reverse i feel that they just are losing faith in the universe okay they're not being able to wait for the divine timing because probably you could have uh, you could have given in a lot in this relationship okay and um then you backed out it could just be like that what's the nine of swords as the why is the nine of swords here as the blockage why is the nine of swords the obstacle? Okay, so what I'm... Give me one more card. I think there's one person here who's very, very emotional, okay? One person out here is taking a very emotional approach to this situation with the Queen of Cups here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, see. So with the five of swords here, all right, at the bottom of the deck, I feel this is uh, someone, you know what, who, you, who you've got serious conflict with, okay, when it comes to communication. You guys are just screwing it up when it comes to communication. The stress out here is because with the knight of wands and the queen of cups, okay. So I feel you're dealing with someone who likes to live in the moment, okay. You're, you could be dealing with someone younger than you because with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands, I feel there's an energetic age difference, doesn't have to be. But otherwise also, you guys, that's why there's a stress here. So I feel it's the one who's very emotional, right? That's the person who's who's stressing so much about it because their level of love is like the Queen here, okay. You're dealing with the Knight here. Not like it's like a higher and lower level, but it's just a difference of approach towards the situation, okay. So there's someone who likes to live in the moment and there's one person who likes something very steady, very solid maybe you're the one who likes to talk every day like talk to me let's talk about this okay like what's going on blah 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 you're dealing with someone who's like well yeah well today i want to talk tomorrow i don't want to okay nothing against you but that's just how this person is okay and i think that's what's causing the communication problems between you guys and because of that with the six of cups and reverse yeah, i feel there's something that you could have this could have been a very very long-term relationship you could have dealt with this person for a very long time but i feel it's happening over and over and over again and the more it's happening right every single time you're starting to hold a grudge against this person okay you're you're, you're having a bad taste in your mouth this is what this person is doing unknowingly is what i'd say what action do you plan on taking is the seven of wands just you you're trying to stand your ground why is the seven of wands here you're being defensive why is the seven of wands here yeah see you're very very determined on not letting this situation end is what i'm getting okay with the ten of swords in reverse here you feel that things are just not moving forward with this person with the wheel of fortune in reverse you feel that there are negative changes or things are just stuck and stagnant okay so one of you there could have been some external situation some comic situation that you're stuck in or there is a person around you who's um who's keeping themselves stuck in a karmic situation okay take it how it resonates but with the ten of cups here i feel that there's a lot of emotional fulfillment okay you this person really makes you happy and you want to talk to this person okay with the page of cups here you have a lot of love for this person but with the ten of swords in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse what i'm getting is that because there is a cycle here where someone's not learning their lessons okay and that's why with the ten of swords in reverse i'm getting there's a situation that's occurring again and again and again okay? it's like you're not letting that situation end you're not letting that situation rest okay so because it's not resting here it's like almost like i'm getting like a relationship that completely collapses and then it comes again it, it, it rises again from the brink of failure is what i'm getting all right but you on the other hand what action you're wanting to take is with the seven of wands and ace of pentacles i think you're wanting to fight for this you're very very determined like i said right, with the charity you're very focused very determined very unstoppable okay you want this relationship under any circumstances all right you want this new beginning you want this commitment with this person and you're ready to fight for this what action do they plan on taking they are doing the hangman okay so with the hangman i feel this person is not really taking any action yet i think they're going to give this a lot of thought why is the hangman here you could also be dealing with someone who's giving to two people it doesn't have to be take how it resonates but i'm just going to see the cards as i feel they are okay 
they're doing a lot of thinking. You are on their mind for a very long time, okay? But I think this person is planning to keep things on hold. What is the hangman here? Yeah, see, because they know that there is unfinished business, okay, with you, with the world here. Again, they also realize that things are stuck and stagnant, okay? So why is the world in reverse here? Why is the world in reverse? So I feel either this person is very, very focused on their work, okay? This is someone who's very focused on their work, their self, their career, their goals. Not in the reverse, okay? This is definitely someone who's wanted to give in commitment to you, okay? With the King of Pentacles, this is someone very stable, very reliable, okay? Someone you can uh, definitely trust and someone who could be the bread owner of the family. This could be a business owner, whatever have you, okay? But they're very, very attracted to you, okay, with the Queen of Wands, all right? With the Five of Pentacles, there could be a separation between you guys, like I said, okay? There could be a lack of communication, or there's just delays between you, okay, in the communication. But what I feel is that this person wants to offer you everything, they look at you as a badass. But right now, because there is a little bit of distance, okay, you could have abandoned them, they could have abandoned you, or this is just someone who's feeling very left out in the cold by you. You know, uh, but yeah, they, they, they feel that there's something that has not ended, okay? Something, there's a cycle that hasn't completed and that they're, they're waiting to watch. But I feel with the King of Pentacles, this person's coming in to offer you something stable. They're coming in to offer you what you want. And the best part is you both want the same thing, okay? Um... If you're asking me in terms of communication, I still don't see communication coming in, all right? I don't see that like, hi, what's up, like, let's commit or let's just like uh, get married or something like that. It is there. They want to take action, okay? This is what they want to do. But I, do, I still don't see them coming in and communicating this to you is what I'm getting, okay? Anyways, the likely outcome is the four of wands. So yeah, this is coming in regardless. You've manifested this. The ace of pentacles is a manifestation that's come into reality, okay? So I feel that you've given this person a lot of patience, a lot of time, again, with the seven of pentacles as your mutual energy, okay? And uh, you waited and waited and waited and waited. And now this is what is coming in for you. I love this. What's the four of wands as the uh, outcome? Okay, so whoever's ghosted you with the hermit in reverse here, this person's coming back. So either this person's, go if this person hasn't ghosted you, there are chances. If remember something, guys, this is predicted, okay? So if this hasn't happened, it may happen, okay? But with the hermit in reverse here, I feel that there is someone here, if, they spoke, if they've ghosted you, they want you to come back to you because they've been enlightened to the fact that um, um, they, they want this with you. What's the hermit in reverse? See, this is exactly what I'm saying, okay? So what I'm getting with the Ten of Swords in reverse, like I said before, right? I feel this relationship, every single time it collapses, and then it's your love or the other person's, okay? It's that Queen of Cups energy and that Knight of Wands, okay? You're so much in love with this person, this person's so passionate about you, okay? You give them that high, you give them that spark in life, okay? Every single time things crash, right? And then you guys, you're in your corner, they're in their corner, okay? And then there's a lot of overanalyzing and overthinking about this situation. And then, you know what? It's like you both want this reunion and again, you, you guys kind of like try and rebuild the relationship, okay? Again. So that's what I'm getting. But again, Ten of Swords in reverse. This is, again, a relationship coming back from the brink of a failure or brink of a collapse, okay? It's like almost collapse and now they're wanting to try, try and rebuild again. That's what I'm getting for you. So that's what I have for you, Aries. The commitment, the stability, security is coming in for you. And um, continue manifesting what you're manifesting. You're doing good. See you. See you.